right thank you so much i uh, good morning to everyone and i thank you so so much each and every student and volunteers of shifana uh, school it has been wonderful day day two day one both the days um, of my experience um, i must admit that this is one of those very very few institution i have seen and i've participated till now um, which was so much on time everything was so um, you know well organized and i really really appreciate you all doing it so 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 smoothly um and always with a smile on your face even in this morning or any any time so i'm very 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 thankful to you guys and uh, thanks for having me here and uh, let me share my screen and uh, let's start with the presentation so can you see my screen yes sure and uh, since i could not add a video so i would be playing that from uh, youtube so uh, just let me know can you see my screen uh, do you see my youtube screen right now or it's the same not yet okay it, it it's it's not the youtube screen as of now it is the same Uh, yes, it is still the same screen as the previous. Okay. Okay. So then maybe I have to do it. Uh, all right. I'll I'll just figure it out. I'll uh, I'll do a new share. Okay. So, uh, welcome to University of Nebraska at Kearney, and uh, I really take that uh, privilege to introduce my university to you all. and uh, we can talk about uh, you know the campus life we can talk about the location we can talk about the programs um we can also talk about how is it to live in in us uh, when you are living from asian countries um what to expect and all of those and uh, we can also talk about the tuition fees scholarships um the entry requirements and so and so forth um one request to you all um you can ask me questions anytime you want uh it's not a mandatory thing that you have to you know wait till the end uh let's make it really very interactive so i don't mind if you, even if you raise hand and stop me and ask me questions that would be nice it, it's it's um it's it's not a big deal right so um All right, so let's see the campus here. All right, so you know what? Uh, Nebraska is located in uh, Platte River Valley, as we say, and the community of Kearney is a safe and a very, very welcoming city of almost like thirty-three thousand people. And uh, Kearney is, um, you know, it's it's a bustling town with different. uh natural attractions and parks and as you explore kerni you will find many cafes restaurants and entertainment options so when you are going from an international country you just don't get bored um you have lots to things lots lots uh, lots of things to do around and uh, the proximity of campus uh also offers you know easy access to the town's vibrant and growing community uh which also includes like cultural events or shopping centers or outdoor recreational facilities museums or maybe um great classic restaurants uh, musical shows plays and variety of concerts so you know for those of you who are familiar with some major cities in the us um i'm not sure but uh, ge geographically just imagine uh, it will be a 10 to 9 hour drive uh, to chicago or to dallas and about 5 and a half hours if you are driving to denver okay so that's that's kind of the location it's in the midwest and uh, it's the fifth largest city in nebraska okay so yeah so let's let's take a look at the campus 
So our student body numbers almost like 7,000. Uh, yeah, almost like more than 7,000. Uh, we with about like three quarters studying in, in undergraduate programs. And uh, we do welcome international students like yourself to campus every single year. And we have around 400 international students from nearly uh, 70 to 50 to 70 countries. So you will get to meet students from all over the world. And um, we have, a, I mean, the picture, I couldn't, I couldn't have more pictures here, but um, we have a fairly large uh, campus, which is almost like 515 acre campus. And uh, which includes almost like, you know, academic administration and student life buildings, and of course, residence halls. But we also have some other facilities that you may not uh, find at any college campus, which also includes planetarium, art museum, gallery, or given a fact, glass blowing studio. So it is like really, really huge. And um, we do have a lot of shuttle services. So it's not like you will not be like lost. Uh, to go to one class to another or from your dorm to come into the, your um, classes. So there will be like shuttle services all the time to help you out. Um, so that's, that's going to be fine. Okay, so I know, you know, rankings are really, really important to some of you and to your parents also. And I'm very, very proud to say that uh, US News and World Report has ranked number six on its list of regional Midwest universities this year. So University of Nebraska is number six in Midwest universities. So, which is like really, really great. And in addition to the institutional um, accreditation, uh, many University of Nebraska Kearney academic programs have sought, have uh, and, and been, you know, awarded accreditation specific um, to their degree offerings. Accredited programs meet, you know, rigorous standards of academic quality. And these standards include factors such as professional attach attainments of faculty, quality of research, library holdings, or physical um, facilities, to name a few. And as a result, students can be assured their educational experiences oh. at UNK will meet high standards of quality that can be assured. And uh, I should mention this, uh, this is only a partial list of accreditations and there are many more for other programs as well for business, for psychology, for engineering, um, for medical. So we have a lot of other accreditations, but uh, this is really great. Okay, so, um, we have student to faculty ratio is one is to 19. That means one faculty member to 19 teachers, uh, sorry, one faculty member to 19 students. And uh, this is, uh, we have more than 125 majors. So it, it was a challenge for me to put it in one frame, but uh, uh, you can, anyway, you can go to the website, you can check on your own and, uh, you know, we have a wide range of majors to choose from. And in just about any discipline you can think of, uh, you will find traditional majors like business, computer science, biology, chemistry, political science, health science, communication, and, and many more like. Uh, yesterday in my day one experience, I have found a lot of students asking for international studies um, communication uh, with respect to advertising, journalism, or multimedia. And uh, there were a few other students asking for a business program as well. Um, and in, in, I think they were asking for um, marketing and business intelligence as in like their, um, their focus area. So I really appreciate and uh, but we also offer, you know, these were these are the traditional uh, programs. But we also offer, you know, uh, non-traditional majors like aviation systems, uh, management, music, theater, and dance, 
astronomy, agribusiness, you just name it. And uh, uh, that's, that's really, really great, you know. And uh, for those who are looking for, you know, pre-professional programs, uh, we have many programs in the medical and pharmaceutical fields and also in law. Yes, I have, I've met a couple of students for law as well. And, um, you know, some benefits of University of Nebraska Kearney education, uh, which includes, we have more than 300 full-time faculty members and 80% uh, uh, of them holds the highest degree in their fields. So there has to be like PhD with a number of research work. So that's going to be really, really fun because as a semester one students as well, um, you can join them in their uh, you know, life project. You can start working, uh, sorry. You can start working with them in, in any life project or uh, be part of their uh, research program as well. So, um, yeah, so we we do have 19 is to one as in like our faculty ratio, student to faculty ratio. Uh, so it is a deliberate, uh, we have done it deliberately so that we don't want our student to feel uh, left out. And um, yeah, so we have big campus, uh, but we have small class size uh, experience. And uh, more than 95% uh, UNK students get hired or start grad school right after the uh, graduation. And uh, many programs like business, engineering, psychology, computer science, these are pre-professional programs, they have 100% job placement, okay? So, um, and also 99% uh, of students they opt for op optional practical training after their uh, graduation and uh, which also gives a lot of approval rate and uh, which is easily received with a UNK degree. And also UNK helps connect students to rewarding internship opportunities, many of which leads to a full-time jobs. So how it works. Um, let me explain to you. So when you are in your second year or your third year and you need to uh, do your internship and you are already in touch with your faculty member, you are doing um, research with them, they help you out to get uh, a nice internship um, in their professional capacity. So they help you with their um, uh, professional network to get a nice internship. And when you start working out there, um, these companies would like to take you, would like to hire you when you graduate. So that's where they come um, on uh, in the uh, career fairs, which UNK provides like three times in a year. Okay, so big, uh, biggest career fair in, um, in Nebraska states, which we hold and uh, we, we allow our students to, to have the full exposure as in like when you are coming from international background, you should have that sort of, a, you know, uh, that sort of exposure to all the fields, right? And also right at this moment, I would like to say that I've met a couple of students um, who are in grade 10, grade 11, and you guys are not yet decided which majors I should take, uh, which program, which course, I'm not sure. It's okay to be undecided for, for now. And uh, even when you apply, that's, that's all right. And we are here to help you out, to counsel you, to make you understand which subject you are good at, uh, which subject has more uh, value in recent time, which is going to be trendy in future times. So we are there to help you out. Don't worry. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so this is, uh, so even, you know, uh, UNK has plenty of housing options and uh, you will find, um, you know, uh, living, learning communities 
which are like groups of students who have common interest and are living in the same dorm. So when you are putting your, um, uh, you know, you're, you're filling up your housing uh, application, you should mention that uh, your passion, your interest, your hobbies, um, your subjects. So accordingly, we help you to choose your roommate, okay? And uh, if you can see in the picture, so these are like the dorms and uh, some of our rooms have like private bathrooms while others have like semi-private bathroom shared with between two uh, rooms. And uh, so I personally have been into the girls uh, rooms and I know that it's, it's fun to stay together because uh, we have a, like one room shared so I shared with another another girl and there's a, like a partition and there's another room. So it's it's kind of it's kind of cool and we all have great understanding. There's there's no no such conflict um, whenever you are staying together. So it's very lovely to see how they just, you know, um, embrace international students with open arms. And uh, so our residence halls uh, assistance, there is you know, uh, uh, assistant for residence halls as well. And uh, they are there to keep you safe. And uh, they also host you more than 600 activities each year for your residence. So this is like really, really cool. And uh, they do a lot of open rooms and open culture, a lot of, lot of things like that. And uh, we have six dining, all options two coffee shops, convenience store on campus. And uh, of course, if you want to cook your own food, you can, or else you can sign up for a meal plan and uh, you can also pay for dining dollars, right? Or you can use those cash around the campus like Subway, Starbucks, or um, uh, Papa John's Pizza, or Louis Dinner. So yeah, so, you know, there are more than 150 plus student groups or organizations on campus. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about the organizations here. Uh, uh, when I'm talking about the organization, these are the fraternities, uh, which you can join them. Maybe you are a very great guitarist, so you can join them. If you are into theater, then you can join another club. If you are into more into event management, whatever you are uh, more uh, focused into, a uh, few of my students are doing, uh, you know, it's, it's so, so crazy. And I want to like to talk about very in, in, interactive session. So, um, well, a few of my students are doing engineering, but they have taken minors in law. So, which is like, you know, it's, it's two, uh, two poles, like engineering, electrical engineering and law. And the student is into, um, you know, student club of lawyer, and she's doing enormous good because she's just saying, ma'am, I'm just liking it because I, I get to talk, I get to express myself in a different way, which is my passion. So, it works like that. It's, it's so open, it's so interdisciplinary that it uh, allows you to choose, pick and choose your own subject and make your own degree. So we don't compel you to be in such um, you know, stringent rule, but it's, it's all right, however you wish to, okay? So uh, yeah, so let me, uh, sorry, yeah. So it, this is for uh, the international students. These are the services. So when you arrive uh, to campus, you have a staff dedicated uh, to helping international students navigate their way around campus and get used to living in the US. So I remember first day and uh, it is amazing to, to feel that way because they help you to even get your own luggage from the car. So it's, it's so overwhelming. Um, they don't feel anything. They are very, very welcoming. And uh, so our uh, wonderful international services team runs an orientation for new students 
that covers all you need to know and they also help you with your questions related to your visa and other documents and another great aspect of this office is the global loper program and uh, um, this is a group of current unk students who mentor new international students when you arrive to campus so they meet you uh, and show you around the campus go to the events with you uh, really make you feel welcome to the campus and uh, uh, so yeah, it's it's our way of having students help other students to make sure you know where to go on campus. Eventually, uh, we hope you will become a mentor to new international students too, right? So, okay, so moving on to English Language Institute. Uh, this is required only if you haven't done your English proficiency test. So in order to come to US, any university, you need to pass either IELTS, I-E-L-T-S, or TOEFL, Duolingo, PT, these sort of test. But if you score low, uh, then what it is required for, then we give you English language uh, for first semester, okay? So if you require ESL, uh, first, before starting your academic studies. So we have on campus program with five course levels and uh, we focus on six areas to make you stronger with English proficiency. And we run these on a semester basis and classes are very small, okay? And we do issue conditional acceptances into your academic program so you can transition seamlessly to English Language Institute to your major. So example, you are taking law and you want to take, um, and you did not have IELTS score or less so than what it is required. So we put you in ESL for first semester, you finish that and then you come to your academic major, okay? Okay, moving on. Uh, UNK has a proud tradition of excellence and support when it comes to loper athletics. Uh, we call it, you can see um, in the t-shirts, it's, it's written lopers. So lopers is antelopes, um, if you know. So from there, it came to lopers and uh, our teams enjoy great success and consistently compete uh, for championships for all the sports. And in classroom also, we produce multiple academic, uh, all international and Americans each year. And uh, so, yeah, so we have listed like men's and women's team here, and we are a part of NCAA division two, and we compete with uh, Mid-American Inter-College uh, Athletic Association Conference and our facility, uh, uh, include, you know, for a track and field, football stadium, uh, pool, softball, health and support center. And uh, we also offer plenty of um, other mural, intramural sports uh, like badminton, volleyball, basketball, uh, or soft, slow pitch, softball, golf. So a lot of other things. So if you are interested in athletics, then this is definitely your cup of tea. Okay, so UNK is a state school, like it's a public university and our tuition fee is very affordable. Um, so you can see here down below. So uh, our annual tuition fee is 13,650. And we are excited to announce a new scholarship for uh, international undergraduate students and um, the International Loper Scholarship will be awarded to international undergraduate students who meet the criteria for acceptance and who are pursuing their studies full-time. Okay, you can't be a part-time student. And this scholarship is in the amount of 4,095, which makes the annual tuition below 10,000, which is 9,555. And, uh, when you factor in the cost of fees and room and meals, you 
come to just over 20 to 21,000, everything included, everything. Uh, and that's the maximum I'm talking about to attend UNK for one year. And uh, you don't have to apply separately for the scholarship. It is awarded at the time for your, uh, of your admissions decision, okay? And uh, there's an additional fee for health insurance um, if you are not covered by a family plan. So that is around 3,139, okay? So what are the requirements to be admitted to UNK? All right, so for undergraduate students, we are looking for students who are, you know, having C or better average for their high school grades. So B should be fine, uh, B plus B to not less than C. And uh, you will submit uh, to, you know, you need to submit official transcript, your passport page, the scan copy, uh, your proof of English proficiency, that is your IELTS or TOEFL score. And, uh, and you can see the scores here. So IELTS is six, uh, Duolingo is 90. So these days, uh, when you are not able to go to any IELTS centers, uh, then you can take Duolingo at home. So that is also possible. And uh, so you, we, and we encourage you to submit your application as early as you can, because uh, after you are accepted, there will be a process where you need to obtain your student visa and we need to leave plenty of time for that. So, and also we have application fee for $45, but um, I wanted to, to save this news for you guys. I will wave it off for all of you if you apply uh, and let me know that you have applied. Um, so I will be uh, at the end of the presentation. I'll give you my email address, uh, my phone number. So you can let us know uh, any of you guys like from Safana uh, school, if you are applying, I will waive off the application fee. All right. So uh, right now it is $45, but uh, I'm happy to waive it off for you guys. Okay. So this is a, a video and I need to stop sharing right now and then again share YouTube. Uh, so give me two, one minute. Okay, uh, let me know if you can hear. Oh no, I have shared the same thing. Sorry. Mm. There it is. Okay. So let me know if you can hear this. I love Kearney so much. It's one of the best. Can you hear it? Yeah, okay. Places to attend college. Yes. Small town values in a bigger town. It's not so big that you feel overwhelmed, but it's big enough where you know you still have options. Everybody's just so nice and so welcoming, which made me feel like, oh, this is gonna be my home. And that's why I decided to come to UNK. I was so surprised by Carney. I didn't realize how much it actually had to offer. We have some of those chain restaurants that you can find in Lincoln and Omaha. Then on the flip side, we have smaller boutiques um, that give Carney some character charm, gives Carney style you can't find anywhere else. They have an amazing, amazing variety of parts. Cotton Mill is my favorite place on this entire planet. <laughs> Harmon Park is also really close to UNK, so I hang out with my friends there. One thing that I love about Kearney is the hike and bike trail, and it's just a block off campus, so it's really easy to hop on there, well lit. I feel safe, goes past Cotton Mill, goes to Yanny Park. We usually go and hang out with friends, and we go ice skating, or we go watch a movie. The Big Apple Fun Center is really great because they have laser tag and they have bowling. I think what surprised me most about Kearney is how involved the Kearney community is with UNK. Your student ID will get you a long way, or if you're wearing like floper gear, they know you're a student. They're really genuine here. Just down to earth, Nebraska nice, as they say. To me, it feels home now. I think once you get on campus and get kind of more involved, it really does seem like a really small community. People I've met freshman year are still in my life. 
you know, my fifth year of college. That's not only with, you know, people I've met in college, but people in the community as well. Each year I see more diversity, which I really love because it, it just makes me feel like I take the right college. I had someone on tour say that we have like really green grass and like the grass is literally greener over here. Now that I've been here you already, I know wholeheartedly that Kanye is where I'm supposed to be. Okay, so how oh, where was I? Yeah. Okay, so after the video, this is from my end. Uh, and uh, Calvin is my colleague and myself, Ankita, and uh, this is my phone number, my email address, and you can be in touch with us. And right now I, sh I can have a question and answer uh, round with you guys, so. Yes, thank you very much, Ms. Ankita, for the really informative presentation. Our I Kennedy hope uh, you, could, uh, you could get a little bit about UNK. I hope I could give you a little bit of flavor of UNK. How is it to live on campus and, um, and be in Midwest in US? Yes, go ahead. Continuing, our q and session will be open for the next 10 minutes. If there are any questions regarding the university, please kindly ask via Zoom chat, or you can also open your microphone. So any question guys? I can see a good number of participants, 111. That's that's a good number, one, one, one. Are there any questions? You can ask through the chat or you can also open your mic. Okay, so there's a question. The first question, do you have any organization or institution affiliation or in connection to support students for their internship? Yes, we do have. So uh, we do help our students to get uh, internship. And uh, this is with international student services. That is the um, separate billing, separate wing and different organization, if you want to say that. And uh, we help our students to, uh, to get placed in internship. And majorly we help our students to get a paid internship. Um, a lot of our students who are in business or in engineering, they do bear the credit. So in your undergraduate, it is a 120 credit hour. In four years, you have to take, all right? And uh, uh, sometime the, uh, internship, they also give you credit in return, um, as well as uh, they, you, you are allowed to uh, earn money out of it. Um, also, you can, I didn't talk about part-time jobs, but you can, you can work as a, in, in, in the campus. Since I was talking about it's 515-acre campus, it's like really, really huge. So there's a lot of opportunities for international students to start working. Um, and uh, you can be brand ambassador for your country as well. So that's a very prestigious thing. What is the most favorite faculty in University of Nebraska? Um, I'm not sure what is the faculty is not like faculty member or um, you wanna talk about the program. I think it's the program, the program. Okay, all right. So the most, uh, we can't just say the, the most favorite thing, but uh, majorly we have, you know, law, we have uh, business, so, um, and engineering as well. 
So a lot of students are into engineering, law, psychology is a very, very important as well because we have, okay, another thing which I wanted to share and uh, I shared with a few students yesterday that um, 4,000 scholarship is not uh, only 4,000, it can be renewed every year. So it's 4,000 into four, okay? So it's just not like 4,000 first year. If you maintain a GPA that is 2.5, then you can get next year also same scholarship, then next year and then next year. And if you are in psychology or any club or any, any um, say like psychology has a different club and we are heavily funded university. So we are doing enormous amount of uh, research and development. So we have a lot of other scholarship. So when you arrive at campus, you understand your subject, you start working with our faculty members, then you can earn more scholarships, even uh, more than this, what, what we are offering right now. So if you ask me right now, communications is a business, engineering can be, uh, you know, top three. Psychology is also very, very important. So I'm, I, I don't know, when I'm at my campus, um, I, I just get, uh, you know, so overwhelming uh, feelings because uh, it's, it's so, so huge and so many uh, programs to choose from. So it's, it's amazing. I hope I, I could answer your question. Another question just came in. For the double degree program, how about the thesis? Should we make the, should we make a thesis for both major or we may select one? A very sick question. I can't see that. I'll just copy and paste it and put it in the chat, OK? OK, I can see another question. Is the university support all religions? Yes. We are very, very secular. And uh, so it's, it's amazing to see, uh, like preparing some places for praying. Yes, yes, uh, very, very cool about that. We do respect from bottom of our hearts with every religion is, is equal. And so um, that is how the secularism uh, we have, we have that kind of feeling. We do respect each and everybody. I mean, that is very much required when you are going to any university. Um, you are going away from your home. You, you want to feel home. You want to feel home. So that is something which gives you the most uh, comfort level, I guess. So uh, Nida, um, did you copy paste the question? I couldn't copy it, so I'm typing it right now. But oh no, it's okay. It's okay. You can you can let me know once again. Maybe uh, okay. Uh, for the double degree program, how about the thesis? Should we make the thesis for both major, or we can select one? For double degree. Um, I'm not sure uh, because you can do two thesis as well. If you are doing double degree, then uh, you have to have a uh, few courses will be uh, combined, but few credits. So for example, if you are taking only one uh, degree, that is 120 credit hours. If you are taking double degree, then you have to have first uh, majorly done with your first degree and then you can take from your third year right uh, so yeah so you can do your first thesis and then uh, you can apply for uh, you can do the other one if you want to apply for the scholarship how are going to start to do first so you don't have to apply for scholarship um, we we see your profile we evaluate your profile and then we grant you scholarship. So it's just easy. Just apply and uh, just be rest assured that we are going to give you uh, the best scholarship for your profile, right? Another question just came in. Can we pay the tuition fee by the installment? Um, 
okay so mm, installment can be semester wise if they, they if they mean that uh, so uh, you can pay it, uh, pay paid uh, for a year but you can pay semester wise also that yes you can pay in installment if you mean that There are a few questions regarding the dorm. Sure, go ahead. How does Nebraska assign the roommates? Okay, so it's it's very cool. Um, they they see your um, you know your interest level, and uh, they will uh, they will understand your personality. They have a lot of questions for you um, with the majors. A uh, few from the same sort of uh, nationalities. So they mix and match all uh, to have the best experience. Another question is what are the facilities in the dorm? Are they all free? Um, you mean uh, all free means? I didn't, I didn't understand. All free? Shall I read the, no, there's, there's no chat, but you need to tell me again. Here they asked, what are the facilities in the dorm? Are they okay. all? Okay, so, so uh, I was in a girl's dorm and uh, uh, we have a recreational area. Uh, sort of a lounge area where we can sit. Uh, so there are like one, two, three, four, four rooms and a lounge area, a small kitchen. For a semester, I didn't have kitchen. I had to go down um, to cook my food. Uh, I'm from India. And uh, uh, so I, I had my taste uh, already. And uh, I liked American food. I liked my food as well. Sometimes when I'm feeling low, then I'm taking my own food. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so first semester I had to go down and, uh, you know, cook my cook on my own. And um, from second semester, I kind of changed and I have like one, two, three, four rooms. And we had a small recreational area. We have TT and uh, uh, we have video games. We have TV lounge area and we have a small kitchen and your own fridge um, to keep and store your own stuffs. Um, you have your study table. Uh, you have a wardrobe or closet. Um, we give you a mattress for the bed. We give you bed as well. Uh, you have to get your own bed sheets and linens. Uh, so yeah, I think I have answered. For the girls uh, here, whoever is uh, thinking of, um, this is, that's how uh, an international student's experience was. Since it has already been a total of 45 minutes, our q and session will be closed now. Thank you for the really interesting questions. And once again, thank you very much to Ms. Ankita and University of Nebraska. Thank you so, so much, Nida. Elza, I liked your questions. Thank you so much. And um, thank you so, so much, all you guys. And I hope to see you all in my campus very soon. Okay, and let me you. know when you apply. Okay.